Hi, my name is Natalia Korover. I am honored to have my artwork, Urban Dreams, included in Quilt National 2021. Thank you to all the organizers and the jurors for putting on this exhibition during a pandemic. It's a tall order to do, and I am delighted that my art my artwork is part of this. Um, and thank you to all the everyone for pulling this all together. So Urban Dreams is a 3D artwork. Um, it's a first of my 3D artworks that has been included in any exhibition. So I am delighted um, that its debut is in such a prestigious exhibition. Um, the beginnings of Urban Dreams started somewhat like this. Um, I always save scraps from my artworks. You know, when I trim the edges, I cut off the edges. I have a basket full of scraps over there in my studio. Um, and in the past, I've usually made, you know, little cards or something like that. Um, small little three by five, four by six type of, types of artworks from those scraps. Um, and then it came to me that I should be utilizing them in something else. So what I started doing <clears throat> was I started saving beverage containers that are made from uh, paper and they're lined with plastic on the inside. So those types of beverage containers are not always recyclable in all communities. And I started filling those containers with little bits and pieces of plastic that are not recyclable that go into the trash. Um, and when I have each container filled, I would give it a covering with my scraps. I um, would collect my scraps. I would um, stitch around the edge because it is paper-like. It's easy enough to stitch through. So I would make these little thingies, these little urban towers is what I started calling them. Some are bigger than others. I think you can clearly see that there is a creamer container in here. Uh, and actually you could see the bottom. Um, and I had been making many of these types of little towers. Um, and then I was cleaning out my, my home. Um, just one, another one, one of those purges that um, most people do periodically, or I do anyways. Um, and I came across clear, hard plastic CD towers. I don't know about you, but we no longer have a CD collection. My daughters, I'm not sure that they would even know what a CD is. Um, so I had these little clear CD towers. They weren't little, they were pretty big. And I decided to offer them up to the neighbors in the neighborhood Facebook page where people just put up something that they no longer want and somebody else wants that they pick it up. Um, I put it up twice within a month and no one even liked my post. Nobody wanted these CD towers. Um, and I knew they weren't recyclable, so I didn't want to throw them in the trash either. So it occurred to me that I can cover them with my remnants and I can make them into towers. So that was my first experiment with them. I thought I'd cover them with remnants, but then I realized they were clear plastic and I could put a light in them and I can make them light up. <laughs> so it became a whole new exciting experiment. I still covered them in plastic, um, clear plastic packaging, um, the ubiquitous plastic bag that has been outlawed in some places, but not in all places, and it still causes so much havoc in our environment. Um, it comes in so many colors, um, so there's and it sews quite easily. So I made skins for the 
towers out of those plastic bags. Um, and then the plastic packaging that comes in anything that you use in the supermarket has a lot of graphics on them. It has a lot of letters on them. And I cut those letters away and I make graffiti type artwork with them. It's sort of a mix between um, being inspired by graffiti and those ransom letters from the 1930s or 40s movies. So I put those together as graffiti on these clear towers that I built. But usually my graffiti is just a few simple words in my artwork. Sometimes I use words like sincerity or honesty, some words that I kind of feel are a little bit missing from society today. But for these towers, I felt the need to use, shall we say, some stronger language. I was making them at a time when I felt there was a lot of strife in our country. Um, so somehow I came across the words of the Declaration of Human Rights, which was written sometime in the 40s, I believe, um, right around the end of World War II. So the Declaration itself really spoke to me and some turns of phrase from it felt very important. So I decided to make graffiti from a few of those phrases. Um, and I wanted to make it a challenge of putting some of the graffiti on one building and some of the graffiti on another building and have it be able to be read if someone concentrated while looking at my artwork. Um, I also did an option of rearranging the buildings to form different kinds of graffiti. So if you're looking at it in one configuration, you can read a few of the words and a few of the phrases, and you can't read the others. They don't really make sense because you just see little bits and pieces of it. But if you took the time to rearrange the buildings, you can read a different set of phrases. But all the phrases and two word, one word combinations are from the Declaration of Human Rights. Um, and that was my little, um, my small form of artistic activism, hoping for the betterment of this planet. So that's the story of the creation of Urban Dreams. And um, I hope I get to see it in person at the Dairy Barn. Thank you so much.